Hmm. Can't hear me. No. It's because I had it muted. Yeah. Mm. Well, part Sometimes, two. Part two. I don't know what happened, but it just all went. It was just gone. It the whole thing. It just disappeared. I had to reboot and everything. So. Um, I know you can hear me now, and I know you can hear Michael. Uh, when I brought it back up, I noticed it was muted, but I forgot to turn it off. So, sorry about that. But I know I came back because I know so many of y'all like to see what's um, new in the shop. And you like to see some of the stuff underneath the camera, even though it's not the same as seeing it in person. So, I'm definitely going to... Um, sh I'm only going to show one fabric line. And I'm showing you the Fat Quarter Bundle because it's easier to see. But we also have it in tenant square packs. And then I have some patterns and books or patterns and a book. And I have some thoughts. So we're going to go through this. Thank you all. Thank you, Sherry, for letting me know. Okay, now. Um, so let me go ahead and switch the camera over. All right. So I'm going to adjust the light real quick. Yep, that's better. This is Porch Swing. By Pat Salone uh, for Bern for Benertex. See now you got me doing it, Michael. So I love this. There's only 18 fat quarters in here. Okay, we're gonna. I'm just gonna flip through them real quick. Now the 10 inch square pack still has the 42. So obviously we have. Um, I'll pull you up because I I'm talking y'all and I can't. You know I don't know if you want to see me talking to you. Um, but it does have 42 pieces, so obviously some of them are duplicated, okay? But if you're looking for something springy, this is so super cute, guys. So super cute. Very, I mean, you have a lot of contrast and different things you can do with this. Oh, it is pretty, Sherry, yes. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? So this is all the prints in the line so this one's just like this one or very similar it's similar but it's definitely a darker color so very much more yeah sherry with an s says pretty colors i agree <sighs> who doesn't love paisleys who doesn't love paisleys maybe you don't i do then we've got this is the same as the gray but I love the contrast and I love that they're teals in here. Um, you don't always get teals. Teals and black. Again, teals and black. Oh, this one looks very similar to her sleepover, one of her sleepover pattern uh, prints. There's that flowers again, but in purple, we've got purples, right? More paisleys. Yep. Super cute. Love it. Love this one. I think Dawn likes this one. Oh, look at that color. That's pretty. Then we got blacks, guys. We've got blacks. And then the paisleys with black. So these are your 18 fat quarters that come with Porch Swing, Pat Sloan, Benertex. And making sure. Okay. It's all popping up on the other side. So I want to pull in. I, I try to, um, with every collection, if I get fat quarters and 10 inch squares or five inch. Now that's one I stopped buying five inch squares for guys. I'm back on ordering five inch squares because I realize a lot of you like them. I just have to be able to sell them <laughs> or they just sit. But I always try to buy a background color. Now this isn't doing justice. I'm going to turn a light up for just... Oh, your husband hates them? <laughs> you know, I've never asked Eric. Oh, this looks more blue again. I thought I fixed that with the gray background. Obviously not. I'm going to try to hit this one more time. Ooh, that's really... It is actually a purple. I think the picture online on our website does a, a good job. But it's actually a lavender, a dark lavender type color. But I, I love um, the flowers. And you lost sound. That can't be me. Can you hear me, Michael? I, yeah. I mean, it says we're, okay. 
Um, <clears throat> just making sure because I always listen to what people have to say just in case because we got we got cut off. <laughs> okay, so um, it's a very pretty, very, very pretty purple. This is not blue. <laughs> Very, very pretty lavender. And I will say, so the background is like a dark lavender. And then you have splashes of white. And this is like a medium and a light lavender. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Oh, could you see that? Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that's the fabric I wanted to share with everybody in case you were looking for something springy. Now, there's actually a lot of different things in there that are um, pretty springy. So bear with my mouse. My husband covered my sewing table and now it doesn't, it's, the mouse doesn't pick it up. A couple of things I wanted to share. Now I know a number of you have seen this Exploding Heart by Slice of Pie Quilts. Um, I went ahead and bought the pattern. So if you were thinking about it and you didn't get it or you haven't gotten it, uh, we do carry this in the shop. I'm going to tell y'all I'm going to make this quilt, but I want to do it with a black background. I think, what do you think, Michael? I think that would be absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. There, that's even better. Wouldn't that be pretty? Yes. Black background. I'm yep. looking forward to it. I haven't decided what fabrics I'm going to use. You know, guys, for those of you who like boutiques, this will look pretty in boutiques. <laughs> so we do have the Exploding Heart by Slice of Pie Quilts. The other thing I did um, was the Sew Scrappy Spools. Um, I think you can still find these pretty readily. But if, if you're interested, a lot of people are taking this and they may not do the entire quilt. What does it finish at? 72 and a half by 90 and a half and in case you need to see what they tell you to do um scrappy binding <laughs> isn't that cute um just in case you can freeze play but 72 and a half by 90 is a really big quilt but if you want to make something smaller a lot of people are taking each individual centers and i want to say does it tell you what the blocks finish at um oh i guess oh so the centers that's what i was looking for for the most part what i think the centers are are five and a half inch squares right here okay i'd have to look to see what the whole block is well, i should probably do that oh look look at the Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. Um, I got to hit refresh here in a second. But. Eight and a half inch squared, I think, is what they are. Finished. Or unfinished, excuse me. Um. So we do have this, and, and like I said, a lot of people are just taking which ones are their favorite, and then they're putting the whole thing on their own size, which is so doable, guys. So, so doable. And another great thing you can do with scraps, the only thing you'd want to figure out is how much you would need for your spools and your background. Outside of that, um, you could definitely use some scraps, um, for each one of these blocks and there's a lot of other reasons you can use these blocks they finish at five and a half inches you can if you're good at quilty math you can always make them bigger but it will uh, allow you um, to have a lot of different blocks in your repertoire is that the right word <laughs> and you can do a lot of different things with it besides even just doing the scrappy spools but this they were doing a sew along with uh, if I remember correctly, y'all can correct me. Michael, I don't know if anybody said anything, so you have to let me know. Um, <clears throat> but I think they did a sew along with it. Or they are doing. Or they're just showing you what they're doing. And I'm talking Fat Quarter Shop. So, 
we do have the so scrappy spools this is another one i want to make personally uh now michael really likes this and i can't take this one out of the package so we've got a little bit of a, a glare from the package but i want you to notice oh you can't see oh wait okay you're going to get a little glare from the plastic, but they actually make these butterflies in here. They're like gold and shiny, and there's several of them. But this is Tulip Pink's The Butterfly Quilt 2nd Edition, okay? This is the one Michael really likes, and what he doesn't realize, or maybe you did, Michael, these are traditional blocks. She took traditional oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. blocks, she put them all yeah. together, and the color, this is very modern looking, but it's very bright and beautiful. Uh, this is another one I want to make. But I, again, I personally want to make a black background. But I love the idea that she did this blue background because it's very much like the sky. I'm sure that was her black. intention. It, I want to make it in black. Yeah. Black with very bold colors. Yes. There uh, are repeats of the last, at least some of the spool blocks oh okay very cool thank you sharina for sharing that and just in case you want the back side where it tells you it does it's a big one guys it's 88 by 94 that is not a small quilt mm -hmm. and it tells you the different um, uh amounts of uh fabric that you would need keep getting closer Trying to take away, make sure the glare is gone. But this is actually designed by Tula Pink. And it is so super cute. And it is the second edition. So that's in the shop. I'm going to make that one too. The um, Here's another, here's a pattern also. So these were all patterns so far. I don't know if y'all have seen this. Um, I do know that... Uh, Missouri Star did come up with a really big version of this sewing machine um, that does, it's it's similar, but it's not the same. They have their own pattern. This one's actually done by Kelly Fennin. Um, and I will tell you, I actually saw this done, finished, hanging as a wall hanging at the Mid-Atlantic Quilt Show when I was with the guy that sews or... The guy who sews, or isn't that what he's called? <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm, I'm forgetting names. And he actually have, has talked several times to this designer, and he really enjoys her. And I saw it, and then I kind of want to make this. It's a wall hanging. So it's called Stitch Happens, and <laughs> it's scrap friendly, it says, and it finishes at 37 by 40. So it's definitely very manageable. Um, but just in case you want to see, I can't open this one either, take the glare out, but just in case you want to see what the yardage is. So super cute. She has a lot of different things. I think some of y'all, I don't know if you can see that one. Some of y'all might like this one too. Hey, isn't that cute? So, Stitch happens. Great, I think, to hang in your sewing room or your sewing area. Because um, you know how much we love it. And it's got all these traditional blocks again um, to add to the design. And, of course, flying geese with a needle. Isn't that was genius? So, just so you all know, that's the last pattern that I wanted to show you all that came in. Now... Some of you, I will say, um, oh, that looks fun, right? Very spring-like colors, beautiful. Yeah. Some of y'all crochet and, and quilt. Now, this is pretty cool. This is called Quilt It, Crochet It. You got 14 different designs. So, like, for instance, here's one... Um, this is actually quilted. It's another heart, but it's pieced. How cute is that, guys? And then this one's crocheted. So everything in here, and if you don't crochet and you're interested, they actually break that down. I'm going to look for another picture here. Um, 
that I can show you without copyright infringing. <clears throat> so this one's crocheted, but it's also um, pieced, like she tells you the piecing instructions for the quilt. Okay, there's pillows in here. Um, so, yeah, so this is the one quilted. Okay. Super cute, right? All There's 14 different designs, including the heart one and the one I just showed you. Oh, this one's fun. Let's see if I can find a good picture. Um, this is crocheted. Okay. That's called Beth Square's Blanket. Oh, look at this, guys. That is quilted. Is that not super cute? Super cute. Love that. So each one of her patterns in here is crocheted and quilted. So you get both. And like I said, if you wanted to learn how to crochet and it's intriguing to you, or if you are a crocheter and want to learn how to quilt, she does give basics of each each of these. Oh, there's some good pictures. I mean, look, guys. She even did a pot holder. She crocheted it, and she quilted it. Isn't that darling? The pictures. Oh, look at this. Look at, look at the pillows. Love the pillows. This is a pillow, and that's the quilted. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. So, she does both basics for you guys. Um, if you're one person and not the other. Oh, you got your book today and you love it. Yeah, the pictures in here are amazing. And um, there are several um, projects. I mean, there's 14 guys of different projects. And I think it's so unique that, you know, a lot of people who quilt crochet and a lot of, you know, and vice versa. So this allows you to pick and choose which you want to do. And there's directions for both of every single pattern. So I wanted to share that. Uh, that's new in the store. And that is, that's what I wanted to share for, um, let, me, let me switch back here. <laughs> <clears throat> that's what I wanted to share for the new stuff in the store because I know how important it is for you guys to see all of some of the new stuff. Um, hey, Miss Mary, I'm so glad to see you. So glad to see you. The sewing machine quilt is so cute. It is. Michael, can you tell me the price on that in our shop? Uh, uh, stitch so happens. And crochet. Stitch happens. That one, that one. This okay. one. Because it's a 37 by 40. And I'm telling you, um, that's very doable. Very, 999. very doable. 999. And if you have a, if you have a, code or a gift certificate it's only ten dollars guys 9.99 so yeah i i this is one all of the ones i showed you yeah i plan on making it's going to take some time i want to hang them in the shop so if anybody buys anything um now the book i that's going to take some time <laughs> Whether or not I have time to do this, I don't know. Uh, but as far as these patterns go, I'm definitely wanting to do this so I can hang some some pretty quilts in the in in a quilt shop. I haven't even talked about that here. I'm talking about a shop. Um, so if anybody buys these patterns and you're starting to make them, let me know. And when I get through with Michael's quilt, that's my focus. I'm going to start something and I'll, I'll share the blocks with you guys. So you are what you are watching on your TV and switch to your computer. Oh, okay. So Michael, what is your favorite style of quilt? Uh, what? So Mary asked, what is your favorite style of well, quilt? Well, I know I, I, under, I understood that one. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's hard. 
You like art quilts. Mm -hmm. And you like the butterfly quilt that Tula Pink did. Mm -hmm. um, and you like modern quilts. I like modern quilts. That's an in general statement, though. I mm -hmm. don't know if that really counts. As... Oh, no, it does. That's okay. a quilt in style. That's, that's a real thing, Michael. Yeah, but like... <laughs> I guess I was trying to think of something more specific. I don't know. Anything modern really kind of gets it going for me. It'll be fun because Mary, he's going with me to Angela Walters retreat. So in her retreat center, there are quilts hanging all over the place. So, and, and a couple of pictures of, of different things. So I can't wait till he goes because he's going to be able to see some of this up close and personal. Um, which he hasn't been able to do. So it'll be really fun um, to see his reaction and to hear his feedback on on it. Um, you know, some you love, some are okay. You never not say they're bad or ugly or whatever because there's so much that goes into it and there's always that story. But there are some that you definitely connect to more is probably a better way that will be very in do you like uh do you even know what a bargello is michael a what <laughs> a what reach a bargello i always that? say it wrong guys um sharina actually has made one it has uh, i want to say the picture is the last supper um, so you can go into creative kingdom, but it's, it's, it's a design where it's kind of, it's on purpose. It's, it's kind of modern, sort of. <laughs> so, so Mary likes almost any, as long as there is a lot of color bar, bar, bar jello. Oh, that's right. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. I always say it wrong. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I say a lot of things wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's another statement. It, yeah, I do. I say a lot of things wrong. And everybody likes to make sure I know. And I appreciate it because I'm going to say it. But I promise you in a month or two, I'm going to say it wrong again. So you're just going to have to keep it up. <laughs> it's just, it's it's just a, it's me. A, it's a full-time job it, trying to get mom, my mom to speak correctly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It is. It truly is. But um, it's it's a definite type of uh, style. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. You actually probably do. You just didn't know what it was called because you've uh, seen it before, uh, okay. but you didn't know the term. Oh, okay. um, probably. I think you would probably really like it. It's like very art. geometric and yeah. Oh, I like geometric. Straight line. I mean, look at the quilt behind you. <laughs> yeah. I just Once you that made one. a very rough one out of your grandma's aprons. Oh, Mary. That is so cool. That is so cool. Not even going to lie to you. Not even going to lie. That's amazing. That would be fun to see. So that's what we got, guys. And again, I want to tell everybody, thank you for sharing all your beautiful quilts. Um, this, this this one was very inspirational. And I mean, I say that every time I know. But... Um, yeah, you do. Every single time. That but it's really true. <laughs> it is. It is. And I can't tell you, uh, I know we appreciate it, but I even hear feedback from it. So I just want to make sure that y'all know that uh, people love quilt candy. We're quilters. We want to see what you're doing. You know? I because like quilt candy and I don't even quilt. So. Well, not yet, stuff? but you will be. Oh. You're quilting at the end of, the, you're quilting at the retreat. Uh, something like that. Yes, you are. You have to or do something it. Something like that. I have to do you anything. have no choice. I don't have to do anything. Hey, it's my birthday. Hey. Just smile. <laughs> doesn't it. mean anything for them. <laughs> 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 
Oh, see, Mary, her too. She loves geometric. Oh, you yeah, gave it to your daughter. Super cool. Yeah. Yeah, and Mary's our art quilter. Oh. I like so art quilt makes... a lot. I think it's cool, but I don't think that's something I can do. Oh, Miss Mary will tell you different, huh, Miss Mary? Oh, Anybody no, I, I can learn to do this. I was going to say, I'm not saying that I can't. I don't think it's a possibility. I My brain doesn't work in the aspect of traditional art. I am very much a, what do you call that word? Uh, what's that art? So abstract. So geom geometric works better for me. Abstract big kind of design would work better for my you brain. You can do like abstract, Michael. You can do art quilts that are abstract. That's okay. Well, I'm fair. And it's not as hard that. as you think. Yeah. It sounds hard. It I think hard. I think you would enjoy that a lot. Uh, uh. Yeah. I'll have to send somebody to you where you can take a class from. Um, okay. Your birthday is in 10 days from today. Well, happy birthday, Miss Mary. Although I will be on next Wednesday. So we have a video dropping next Wednesday. Um, and then I'll do a live Q&A. So I'll probably end up I'll probably end up saying happy birthday again to you, Miss Mary, because it's closer to your birthday. It's a week from now. But you're on an hey. art. Oh, she's on an art quilt, quilt spring break right now. Woo! Awesome. So she loves that also, Michael. She wished there were more of those. The abstract art. See? Mm. I'm telling you, Michael. Yes, Miss Mary. Well, thank you for stopping in on your art on your art quilt spring break. Whoop whoop. But yes, because we missed you. Quilt. Huh? Uh Sharina says Michael could do pixelated quilts. Yeah, he could. Um I'm thinking something a little different. I can actually do a pixelated quilt. I just haven't yet. I think I could. Um, I don't know if I not not saying it's a bad thing. I like. Well, it. I actually cool. have. I, just, I, act, I, I actually. I actually have tired. like. Um, oh my gosh, a thousand different colors, or more, and so yeah. I can take a picture and pixelate it, and then I have all these colors that I can put in there to match them more closely to the original. EQ8 allows you to do a lot of things like that. So um, it I makes it cool. easier. I think it's super it is really cool. cool. I, I mean, it's what's really cool is if you're up if you're up close, it doesn't necessarily look like much. But when you're like standing back, you can see that you can see what the picture is. Yeah. I think yeah, it looks really cool. cool. And I would some of them you can tell being it. up. Yeah, well, I don't. I don't, <laughs> do it. I don't. That sounds exhausting. Yeah, I think Michael, you might really. Um, yeah, Angel, you and I think a lot alike. Absolutely. You should make an abstract landscape. Oh, Mary, do it. Do it. Look, we're going to cheer on. Do it. Do it. Yeah, I want to see that. Um, yeah, I think, Michael, I think your thing, I think you would really enjoy the abstract side. Yeah. Uh, that, I'm it's all for actually, abstract. you know, you know, it's not just abstract. I mean, you can design it abstractly. You can actually go there, but um, you could actually do it in a way that's improv. So it, it allows you well, to just yeah. design as you go. And there's, listen. No rules. There's, I don't like rules. Let's do it. There's no rules. See, and that's why I don't want to do pixelated. There's too many stupid rules. I got to follow um, it to make a picture at the end of it. I don't want to make a specific <laughs> picture. I just want it to be something when I'm done with it. That's my kind of thing. Now, you can do like a sketch, an idea of where you want, or you yeah. could not and just follow the fabric. I'll just go. I'm you, just go, man. I think you would really, really that's, enjoy yep, that. That's something I would do. I don't I don't need no rules. I don't need no direction. I'm just going to go. Well, and there are guidelines. Done, done. There are guidelines. <laughs> well, you got to have it. You got to have some contrast in your fabric or it'll just look like one big mud puddle of nothing so you do have, have to be able ideas to... there's some rules that are not rules there's some guidelines no, no 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 see it's not even guidelines it's more like there is a theme that i would okay follow. oh okay you could do that too you still gotta have some yeah, contrast that's how but... yeah yeah it's a part of the theme oh okay Gosh, i got this in my brain it's i'm seeing it i got all kinds of ideas man oh remember those art prints that you had to stare mm -hmm. at 
and a 3D image appears? Yes. Like, I used to do it all the time. And like, you have to focus your eyes in a certain way. <laughs> Let's try to make a quilt that will appear 3D image after staring at it a lot. Well, you know, they people have done that a lot with the spirals. Um, I've seen a lot of quilts with the spirals, but uh, yeah, that would be really fun. Uh, that would definitely require a lot of <coughs> color and contrast different differentiation, right? You definitely have to make You'd sure that yeah, yeah, you, it would have to have levels of depth. Yeah. yeah, but it's possible. And that would be really fun. Mary, there's I, first first abstract landscape then 3d image <laughs> we're looking at you girl the first one well, it's not I the bet first you one it's already made it well I they, bet you they, this has already been made what is that called oh, give me a second i'll look it up um scrap she said miss mary but then sharita did say she's seen a lot of gamer quilts that are pixelated absolutely you are so right miss sharina there are there are a lot and you know understanding that's kind of a cool concept on, and the same thing because they're all about pixels <laughs> and you know how how nice your picture is the more pixels you have and well that Where's makes it gone? smaller but more clear huh swirly what? patterns and starry night that one. That would be cool to see in a quilt. Oh. Starry Night. You talking about from um what's the artist? Um, um I don't remember the Oh it's this. coming to me. Give me a second. Oh, he's famous. Oh my gosh. I can see it. I can see the painting. Yeah. Is it a uh, source of V? Oh. Huh? Van, Van Gogh. Gogh. Woo! Uh, start with a V. I got it. Thank you, Van Gogh. Miss Mary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a beautiful. That, I love that. That thing. would be. F I yeah. Well, you can't. I. You could do a. You could do a quilt like that, but you know, I would do one step further and do your own interpretation of it. Oh so no, no, your, no, no, no! Yeah. I'm not gonna mimic it. <laughs> yeah. Screw that. I'm gonna do my own thing. But I like that idea. It would be cool. Mm -hmm. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Van Gogh. Yep. I can remember his name. Van Gogh has got a lot of different, really beautiful, yeah. interesting art. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's See, it for this week. Wait, what? Yep. Oh, oh no. you oh, like the talk. scream. That's another good one. That's a scream is a good one. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. Now, the, the I've seen gamer quotes that are pixelated. See, I've seen people try and like do the whole pixelated thing for gamer stuff in general, and I'm more... Not a, I, I don't know. Pixelated is, no. <laughs> Not for you. It's too basic, and, like, everyone does pixelated for gaming. It's like, everyone correlates it, so I want to make it different. Very if cool. I was going to do something for gaming. Very cool. Well, maybe yeah. one day. Yeah. Got to get you started. So Michael's making a basic quilt when we go to the <laughs> retreat. Uh, beginner friendly yeah all right so i'll let y'all get going um you could see michael doing modern nature oh yeah vincent price fan yes oh my gosh look mary we could talk for hours we'll have to do that in happy hour i will be in happy hour this saturday for anybody who is in creative kingdom if you want to join link is down below just We're talking about sure time yep just make sure you answer the three oh yeah we are we're going to talk about time um this this saturday in happy hour um say hello and happy easter to your mom for me i will miss mary absolutely um but so this saturday happy hour and video drops next week um and we'll do a live q a at a quilting and answers at 3 p.m um uh, michael do you have something to add because um it's a natural for me to just lead, but you're supposed to be doing that. So I know you're just doing things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Michael and I um, are switching roles. So <laughs> yeah, we're switching roles. I'm, I'm closing the thingy. Uh, okay. Everyone be safe, be happy, happy Easter. If you celebrate, um, don't do anything I wouldn't do. 
Doesn't leave a lot of options, but you know. <laughs> what is that? What I don't. Know. What do you think? What, hold on, let me figure this out. You say stuff like, uh, "Be inspired." <laughs> believe. I don't know how to close this thing down. This is gonna be. Uh, I know you're. Yeah, well, you will. You'll have to learn it. But yeah. uh, and you can always just send it out. Send it off. You know. I say, Michael, you have anything to say? You could always say, Hey, mom, what do you got to say? And uh, I'll just true. say, Until next time, guys. First of all, yeah, thank you for is. stopping by. Thank you all for sharing your beautiful quilts and your creations, and allowing us to um, be a part of your story and your quilting journey. Uh, all of us, uh, Chair of Chit Chat, is very special for that. But until next time, may you all continue to be inspired, productive, ever so joyful, never stop believing, and never stop making your dreams in quilting come true. Happy hump day, guys. Whoop, whoop. whoop Happy whoop. Wednesday. Happy quilting. Love y'all. And we'll see you all soon. Say, say.